Donald Trump is worried about the death of Jeffrey Epstein. But Donald Trump, over the weekend, decided to spread a particular theory about what might have happened, whether intentionally or not, you know, we don't know. He tweeted this, he tweeted, he retweeted Terrence K. Williams, who had tweeted died of suicide on 24-7 Suicide Watch. Yeah, right. How does that happen? Okay, I get the concerns there. But if you but if you jump down, you've got hashtag Clinton body count, hashtag Clinton crime family, because of course you do. And then that weird picture of Bill and Hillary, is that like supposed to be their reaction to the death? I don't know. So here's the thing, literally no one can die in America without someone asserting that Hillary Clinton literally strangled the life out of them herself. That's just the way it goes. Yeah. And here's the thing, like I've been saying this whole time, there's a lot of people who are concerned that something might have happened. We don't know what, but something. But the idea that the President of the United States would say that the former president and his family, someone murdered this president, should be a line that we don't cross. Absolutely. But I mean, come on, it's America in 2019. Right, and it's Donald Trump. But so, he, yeah. He's asserting that, like, Bill did it? That they're Hillary did it? They paid off or something, yeah. They're. They're politicians. They're. I, I disagree with them on a lot of stuff. I think that they made some horrendous moves. Bill Clinton, when he was president, did some horrible, horrible stuff. Yeah. And if Hillary had become president, we would have been frustrated with her in a number of different areas. They're Maybe not necessarily murderers, today, though. But we would be frustrated, sure. Yeah. And by the way, and then oh god, the depths our politics has descended to. So that was that was the 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 older Trump, the younger Trump. Donald uh, tweeted this. Twitter allowing Trump body count to trend while Clinton body count has way more tweets but isn't trending is peak Twitter. They always just make things up. Are we to believe that he counted tweets? He counted every hashtag. Well, so he, he looked at the number. One by but the one. thing is, things don't trend based on the total number of tweets. How can it's he the, find the number if it's not no, trending? It's, you know, it's, it's, it's because previously it had been, that's not the issue with this. Okay. The issue is that he either doesn't understand how the algorithm works or doesn't care to. But more importantly than that, the son of the president is complaining that one particular hashtag about a conspiracy theory is trending while another one isn't. That's his concern. And he had tweeted other things about this. He's the son of the president, he's running his businesses. Yeah. He's involved in decisions. And his concern is that Twitter is being unfair to the Clinton body count people. It's just. This is it's absurd, Did Sasha honestly. do this? Did Malia do this? Twitter, the website that allows his father's often violent mm -hmm. feed to remain there because they feel like it's in the best. It's 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 in it's for our, our benefit, mm -hmm. the benefit of like you know public interest. Okay, mm -hmm. and now though. They are messing with him with a hashtag. Yeah, yeah and this, this is—it's like we've had the media matters people on and Parker on so many times. They're not interested in equality, even in conspiracy theory hashtags. What they're interested in is a preferential, a, a supreme position where they are advantaged by the algorithm, as they have been on YouTube for a very long time. They can break any number of rules, as Donald Trump and people like him on Twitter do all the time. Right, and they there are no consequences whatsoever. That is what they're looking for. Both inside and outside of the conspiracy stuff. We're over it. Are we? We are. Okay, for now we are. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.